would have been as quick to take a risk had we not been given that interstitial stage. Hi honey, we quit our corporate jobs and oh yeah, we just signed a five year commercial lease. Let's hope this works. Like that's not really an option when you have a couple house full of kids and you're used to income and you know, <laughs> it did give us that opportunity to try it first and be able to prove to people like this is the right path, this is the right trajectory and this makes sense from a financial perspective. Thank you so much. You have a great day ladies, you thank you. Thank you. Still I remember my kids, you know. Now they're 25, 30 yeah. years old and uh, this is neat stuff, I like this. My name is Akis Plagianakos and uh, I own this building. It was sometime um, late summer, I think, when I received a phone call from a lady, I think it's, uh, it was Gay Stevenson, uh, when she told me she would like to have a pop-up store like this. And at the beginning I was reluctant because I thought I don't need somebody for two, three months, I want somebody for, for a long time. But after Gay talked to me, then I realized that it's something perhaps that I should consider. And I'm happy I did. I would recommend this to other property owners because it's a win-win. It's wonderful to be part of a community and to feel like you are having a positive impact. It's wonderful to have people come in and scrub your floors and paint your walls and help you do the things that would take you maybe a week to do on your own. You're not alone in getting your store ready for the next tenant. stores never send a good message but by putting something as a pop-up store you're implanting an idea in somebody's head to say you could have a potential business here you could have this as your business the owners should look at the long-term potential it looks much better if somebody is occupying the place rather than having an empty place in our case we have our store empty for six months and on purpose we had that because we could not find tenants that will appear to be reliable and successful in the long run. The pop-up experience helps because it's good for the owner, but also for the tenants too, because they can test their business and the owner will know if there's a long-term perspective after a few months. You can sense if the business is successful or not, so you can save time and money. Even if the pop-up business is not there long term, and the people that move into a space invest a lot of time and energy, and at the end of the day, they will have a much more appealing space to prospective tenants. It adds life and personality where there wasn't any before. It's a baby store. <laughs> Watch, you're gonna eat your words. No, Liz, I have a four What the DECA pop-up shop project does is it actually finds businesses, good businesses, there are local people who want to open a small business in their own neighborhood. And that kind of integration, again, of neighborhood and business activity is really fabulous to see on our strip at Danforth. DECA has been so supportive and fantastic. The guidance and, and the knowledge and uh, the energy of, of DECA helping us out has been really what's propelled us here, I would say. We wouldn't have been able to do it without it. Moxie and Jane are so good that I don't even know they exist. And they send me the check through email and many times I forget to cash it and send me reminders, please cash my check. <laughs> so I'm looking forward to having them for the long run.